We've discussed on the show how former CNN president Jeff Zucker unexpectedly left his role at the news network for failing to disclose a romantic relationship he had with CNN spokeswoman Allison Gullist. She has since resigned. This week, more details of his departure have come out, including a non-disclosure agreement he signed, which includes a promise he won't sue CNN and its parent company, Warner Media, in exchange for a whopping $5 million payout. But that's a drop in the bucket compared to the $10 million he'll receive when all is said and done. Joining us now to weigh in is host of the Katie Halper Show and co-host of the Useful Idiots podcast, Katie Halper, welcome. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, look, I don't know about you. I would love to get fired from my job <laughs> for $5 million. Uh, we can do it right now. I'm, I'm gone. What's I'm the done. minimum you'd get fired for? Oh, that's, a, that's an interesting question. Um, well, I, I, certainly I'd take $5 million. <laughs> would, like, like no negotiation. A, a million like, is so much money. Even a million, a million is, is, yeah, is so much yeah. A million is like 100,000, 100 times, 10 times? 10 times, ten, but ten it's times. a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm really bad yeah. at numbers. Uh, yeah. What about you, Katie? <laughs> No, I would refuse it. I would just, well, I would refuse the money. No, of course, yeah, it's a great deal. This is, uh, yeah. you know, if only we all got fired or if only yeah. we were all forced to resign with a uh, $5 but million. So it shows, package. it's just amazing. I guess they, they fear that he would sue them and they would lose even more money. I guess maybe it's a, just a drop in the bucket uh, for, for them. But it's a pretty incredible spectacle that y you can have to get rid of the head of your organization because of his... Not so much really because of this affair, who cares, but because right. of the complicity, the, the journalistic scandal, the complicity in the Cuomo scandal, and you end up having to pay him $5 million. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Well, it just shows the lack of consequences, once again, that, that are faced if you do something like this, if you engage in a conflict of interest and like unethical journalism. And that, you know, you get the sense that uh, the only reason he was uh, forced to resign was because CNN, uh, they, they didn't want him to do that, I don't think, right? Like, they were dragging their feet in terms of doing the right thing. They tended to do that. We saw again and again with the Cuomo case, you know, you had uh, Chris Cuomo apologizing, big deal, for his conflict of interest and in covering his brother's story um, and yet staying on before he was before he was fired, right? He, he was allowed to stay on. He even said what I thought was very entitled. He said, I'm a family man first, as if that justified basically a corrupt uh, handling of the situation. So I think it just shows once and again, this culture of impunity, uh, even when you're forced to resign. And as you pointed out, Robbie, and it's really important, you know, this, the original story was that he had some very con consensual relationship with someone that was an open secret. That that served, I think, very well to kind of um, to lionize him and almost paint him as the victim of this, you know, Me Too movement going too far, going after people who were involved in relationships that were consensual, that weren't really exploitative, didn't have a power dynamic, uh, problematic power dynamic. But then, of course, that's not what it was about. It was really about his um, his participation and and Gallus participation in the Cuomo scandal in whitewashing it. And, you know, just so the median income in the U.S. is $31,000. So it would take some 160, over 160 years, if I do my math right, to earn his, his, his punishment, you know, the consequence that he faced for doing that of $5 million. Did Allison get anything? She didn't get any money, did she? I think I she, she will. did. Did she get any? I think she got a measly... Um, let me check. But I do believe she got a measly one million dollar. That looks crazy. Check. She should she should be getting Hold more on. than him because he was her boss. Right. So, I mean, if anything, she could say, well, I was I, I mean, it seems like she would have more reason to get more money out of the network yeah, than him. Actually, scratch that because I'm looking for it. I'm trying to figure out how much she got and I don't see it here. She might um, still be. I think I saw it in another article and now I can't call it. Are up, they, they're, but, to, they're together still. Right. They're yes. together. So she can't. How could she? She wouldn't. There's no threat that she sues <laughs> but, the company for like allowing sexual harassment. Like she's still with it. That would be that would right. be pretty funny it's, to sue yeah. the company for allowing this climate of sexual yeah. uh, misconduct. But you're still dating. <laughs> but it's it's right, never yeah. it's never about the main thing. And so both Zucker and right. Gallist are both extremely savvy operators uh, who know where all the bodies are buried and have right. a, a, immense contacts all over the media. And so. Katie, isn't this really about PR? I mean, there, there is a price yeah. that you put on bad news. There's a, 
you know, and, and, you know, look, Bill Gates didn't pay Melinda Gates what uh, she wanted out of the divorce. Look what happened to Bill Gates in the year after that. Mm -hmm. Like she just absolutely took a sledgehammer right. to the man. Right. And so you love, you love to see it. You love, love you do love you do love to see it. Uh, yeah. But th I think so. There's there's a price tag that that outlets like CNN and, and Warner Media put on you know a bad news cycle for them. And clearly right. that price is higher than five million plus whatever goes because the actual allegations aside, they, they can gin up stories about CNN what, that don't have their fingerprints on them and aren't, aren't even connected to this. And you see this uh, all the time in order to shake down these kinds of settlements, right, Katie? Yeah, I mean, I think that that's true. And also, as we know, uh, there were allegations that Chris Cuomo was trying to gin up stories or was maybe behind mm -hmm. this. So again, I think they're probably trying to cover their, their rear ends as much as possible. But again, as you pointed out, it's extremely important to remember that this was not something that CNN did willingly. This is not like they had an awakening of their moral, you know, they found their moral compass. This is PR, damage control, um, you know, uh, d handling, doing anything in response to to Zucker or Zucker, as his employees uh, like to call him. Zucker. And, I, and, I, and uh, the Zook. And, uh, you know, Brian Stelter was very upset and kept talking about how how Zucker was a, a heat shield for his employees and Brian Stelter was willing to go to war or he wasn't because he doesn't do war coverage, but other people who, who work for CNN went to war for Zucker. So people are very upset, but um, you say war, everyone's ears prick up at CNN. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, it's a, yeah. And they actually, they were, they were told in a meeting, I think we talked about this last time, to, to kind of focus on their coverage of international affairs in Ukraine instead of, uh, understandably, the scandal that was unfolding there. Mm. I still think Allison can get more money out of this situation. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, hashtag pay Allison. Hashtag <laughs> where's my money? Yeah. I mean, what, what that would be the, that would be the greatest stereotypical like feminist crusade right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. In, not the, the, not the, it's not yeah. a fair world unless we make Allison Gallas yeah. a couple million, right? She needs five million bucks if he's going to get Six five million, million bucks. Six it's million, true, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right, yeah, six million. Well, I mean, yeah, look, if, million, what if yeah. they break up? If, if they break up, then she's got a real, I mean, she's got a, a chance to go after CNN and say, well, I was only yeah. in this relationship because he seduced me into it and I felt I right. had to because he was my boss and right. then I stuck with it because by then I was yeah. emotionally involved, like a victim, like mocking, what is that, mocking, um, the, sy the syndrome, Nightingale syndrome, so something kind of like that. No. Or no, it's a, if, that's when it's she, a medical, uh, but I know what you mean. But you're, similar, you're saying, uh, right? it's like a... What are, the, what are, you what fall, are, you, when, you fall in love with your kidnappers. Stockholm, Stockholm, Stockholm syndrome. Stockholm. Right, exactly. Yeah. So I mean, she could go uh, after him for you know, even more money. Yeah, she, 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 you know, he probably, I'd be traumatized he, too. He, he had me at, uh, he had me at, let's cover up uh, the Cuomo uh, sexual harassment scandal. That was how, yeah. he, that's how he seduced her. Those, those seductive words, he whispered sweet nothings into her ear, like, let's help uh, Chris Cuomo cover up. And she up was held captive, society. seemingly, yeah. emotionally that's captive. That's pseudo-feminism, not real right. feminism, of course, <laughs> in my book, but um, that would be hilarious if that was, a mo if there was a movement to get her money, more money for helping enable a sexual harasser. Serial sexual harassment. I mean, I can picture the magazine cover, you know, with her, with her on it, and, and some story about how the, the inherent sexism of her not giving the getting the kind of payout she really deserves. I mean, that's what I, I right? look if they're a rehabilitating get money out to anybody, profile. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't think they should be. This thing's going to exist. This thing is absolutely going, going to exist to. sometime in the next five know. years. Is, Mike would have yeah. written it in 2014. But. <laughs> oh, Mike. Yeah. Right. Are Mike they still they, they, I don't know. My, oh, I haven't had to think of, there's so many media companies, too many. Yeah. They're all. Yeah, but again, it, 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 it just goes to show you that, you know, there are not consequences for doing this stuff. And that, like, revolving door between media and the political world and the incestuous relationship between those two spheres is alive and well. Mm -hmm. There are consequences, and those consequences include $5 million. Yeah, so, yeah. Be careful know. what you do. If you get caught doing the wrong thing, you may be forced to be paid $5 million. Wow. Shoot. <laughs> yeah. Well, Katie, yeah. thank you so much for joining tale. us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. We'll be back with more Rising right after this.